Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and we are going to go in, <clears throat> maybe do a, a greed mode room. We haven't done greed mode in a little bit. Uh, we haven't done greed as Lily. What? Wait, that's hard mode. I'm stupid. Okay. Something's gone seriously wrong here. How have we not done, like, we've done regular greed mode, but not greedier. How? That is insane. Also, by the way, there is a new mode called Insane Mode that got added by Community Remix. <coughs> I haven't actually tried it yet because apparently it removes some item rooms and you take full heart damage. I might give it a go for a, for a few videos. I'll have to see. Let me know. There's also Easy Mode as well now. I don't know what Easy Mode does, um, but it exists. Anyways, I mean, come on. We have to give this a go. Like, this character plus this mode, man, you are laughing. I mean, I'm sorry, but... There's, there's no way I'm taking that as my first item. I don't like to hold R, but come on now. Yeah, that could be good. Puzzle. Could be good. We'll give it a go. Um, let's see what we got going on in our shop. Shop, we got corn, and we've got 5G. Um, which is, again, apparently from Isaac Reshaken. It's not. I know it's not. Um, the familiar will deal one-fifth of player's damage every, every four frames to enemies that are between the cell phone and the player. That's kind of good. Right, anyways, let's just get going. I like our little ears we got going on. Oh, my game just immediately crashed. Okay, be right back. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. Oh, I just walked right into a fire because I was moving the mouse off of my goddamn screen. Please, Repentagon, get rid of the mouse. <laughs> Anyways, um, ooh, that's that's pretty nice. We can also grab this for a little bit. Oh my god, the first penny was the all stats up. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We might as well just keep rolling on this until we get to five cent, if pl if plausible. We might not, but it keeps giving us minus money at the moment. I'm gonna keep going on this thing until we uh, until we earn some money. Hey, we earned one penny. Huzzah! Okay. Can we actually start the wave? Okay, this time it lets us start the wave. Good. Also, all of those enemies immediately spawn on top of the fires. That's what we like to see. But yeah, Dad's wallet is going to be real, real, real good for us. Because it essentially just makes four items free. Which is very, very nice for us. Um, four free items can go a long way in this mode. So I will most certainly be taking that. But yeah, we're going to have a pretty easy time here. We're good old Lilith. You just got to remember... In the boss fight, you unfortunately don't get the same the same amount of um, uses of your active items, so it's not going to be quite as powerful when it comes to beating the boss. But as long as we can prepare for that eventuality, we should be completely fine. Bit of a bit of a rocky start to the episode, but it is what it is. As for for the question of the day today, who's a celebrity that you really look up to, and vice versa? Who's one that's popular that you absolutely do not understand why you can't fathom? why on earth the people like them. <clears throat> damn. Pink and Shears is so damn good in this mode. Pink and Shears is so damn good, but we cannot give it up. We cannot give up this active. It just... It would be stupid. Also, I left the room, which was dumb. <laughs> very, very dumb. My bad. We'll probably have to fight multiple bosses here, and by multiple, I mean... <clears throat> The additions on top of the three we're already fighting. To be fair, these guys are very, very low HP, so it's not that hard. <clears throat> Taking some bad damage here. <clears throat> also, apologize if I keep clearing my throat. I've just eaten a turkey bagel with um, with some cream cheese, so I'm a little. <clears throat> I don't know. It always makes my throat a bit weird when I talk right after eating, <clears throat> but I always do it. I I always still do it anyways. Oh, by the way. So I've been I've been on the diet since New Year's. New Year, new me. <laughs> no, but I've been trying to just lose a bit of weight because I I I'd lost some last year and I want to get back to where I back down to where I was. Um, and I have discovered. I mean, I I was I was eating the slow fat cream cheese last year, but I have discovered some amazing things you can do with this cream cheese to just make it like the most delicious thing ever. It already tastes pretty good, but um, right, buy this bad boy. Birthright, familiar's positioned in front of Lilith. That's good. We'll take that. Splits pedestal items in the room into two pedestals of one less quality. Um, zero are split into random pickups. That seems really intriguing. Um, <clears throat> but not all that useful to us, unfortunately. 
Last item's just going to be HP. I really like the idea of that, though. Darn. But just a bunch of HP. Wasn't, wasn't that valuable. Wasn't that valuable. And we've left the room once again. But birthright. Birthright. Very good. Birthright. Very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, basically... So this cream cheese, I, I, I always put some stuff in it. Like I either put some pesto in it to make it like pesto cream cheese. Or I put some hot sauce in it to make it like a bit spicy. But, oh boy. A few things I've discovered. One, adding a little bit of full fat mayo to the cream cheese just makes it taste that much better. Because full fat mayo is amazing. Um, which is, is great. But, I've been adding multiple things. Like I'll, I'll add a little bit of full fat mayo. A little bit of hot sauce. A little bit of chili crisp. Which is like... If you haven't had chili crisp before, it's basically just chili oil with bits of chili in it. Um, and the, the the secret ingredient, my pièce de résistance, a little bit of MSG. I bought a bag of MSG recently, and I've been using it a lot, and it's fucking amazing. MSG's the best thing ever. Ooh, Tammy's Tail, cry for them. We're going to have to buy that. I don't know what it does, but it's quality four. It's quality four, so we got to buy it. Also, yeah, Beth right here, absolutely phenomenal for us. Makes shooting far, far, far easier. And I love the way it groups them all up in front of us. Imagine if there was a, a trinket or something that made all familiars uh, block shots. That would be quite spicy. But already we're seeing that this is pretty strong. Good, good. Okay, careful of these guys blasting their butts all over the place. We don't need none of their bus butt blasting powers in our neck of the woods. <clears throat> but where are you? There you go. There you are. Okay, be a little careful around this geezer. Right, one last one. And we are good to go. Yeah, a little bit of a shame that Dad's wallet didn't really paying out. The way we hoped it would. I mean, it was still good, and with that prism item, seems just amazing. That reroll item. One quality four that might, might might be good, but not amazing. For two quality threes, could be really good. A, a two quality twos to a quality ones even a pretty good trade. I think that has the potential to be a really good item, but it's also got some downsides. I like that. <clears throat> We've got the aqua blob guy down there. We'll leave him for now. Let him do his thing. You won't hit me. You'll never hit me. He hit me multiple times. I was lying. Good, good angel deal. Probably take the soul. Probably take the soul here. We've got to take this to see what it is. It might not be good, but it's quality four, so... What was the tagline for it again? I don't remember. Cry for them. And then we get cancer as well. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay. Good stuff. Yeah, cry for them. I, I just don't know what that's going to mean. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. On killing an enemy, we gain a tears up that decays over time. On greed mode, that's going to be pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, because obviously we're killing lots and lots of enemies back to back to back. Um, so it should be pretty good for us. <clears throat> right. Quickly check out a shop, considering we got the money for a key. Probably want to take the firecracker flower for uh, the boss, but also eye drops are very good too. <clears throat> Mulligan's pretty good for us. Don't mind that. Yeah, so the more we're killing enemies, the, the higher our tiers are going to go. And the, the higher our tiers go, the easier it is to kill enemies, which means the higher our tiers go. I wonder if it'll break cap if we if we get enough kills. Succinctly. Like back to back to back. It's going to get easier to kill things the more charges we get of our active two. <clears throat> all in all, this is this is totally going to be uh, pretty pretty crazy. We're going to get a lot of tiers. Don't like you being like that. Okay, it does definitely break tier cap as well. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. It just hits a limit of six. 
Okay, but for greed mode, this is a very, very good item. I can see why it's quality 4. I think regular rooms, it might not quite be quality 4. But maybe, just maybe, you can keep the boost alive between rooms long enough to keep it going forever. I don't know really the timings on it quite, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure if it's plausible to do that. There you go, there's you dead. Ow, those blue fires still here that didn't disappear. I thought they disappeared for some reason. I should have been paying more attention. Where are you, creep? Easy. Easy. And <sighs> this is tricky. Angel Wings for the piercing, very, very good. But this to just give us a fuckload of damage, I think I'm going to take this. Sets it to 7, then you leave, and it doubles it. Don't know why, it's definitely bugged, but love it as an item. Very, very good. Um, So yeah, it's between Firecracker Flower and Eye Drops. I think I'm going to take the Flower. I think the Flower is potentially better for the boss. And tier rate's not going to matter that much, actually, now that I think about it. I like these rooms made to just waste my goddamn time. Anyways, down we go. Yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> I think this is a pretty strong run that we've got going on here. Um, we'll check out here. Not bad. Range and fire rate with a key in the room as well. Not fire rate. Um, range and damage, sorry. Uh, we'll probably take divorce papers. Frozen farts. Good old chili bean. We'll probably take divorce papers. Makes sense. Oh! I forgot that it would duplicate tank, boys. Oh my god. I completely forgot the main function. Now, there's going to be a lot of tanks in this room. There is going to be a lot of tanks in this room, people. This is going to get weird and wild pretty fast. And the rockets are probably going to hit us quite a lot. Oh yes, baby. Oh yes, sir. I can boogie. But I need a certain song. This is amazing. And we hit the we hit the cap of six so quickly as well. It's just easy. <laughs> Go, my tank dwelling fellas. Yeah, bosses stood. No chance. Don't know why I just stood in the way of that, but I did, so it's done. Hey, don't want Mr. Fred. I love new Mr. Fred. New Mr. Fred has some weird and cool tricks. Angel deal again. We're getting lucky with the angel deals thus far. Ooh. Drink my blood. It's an active, unfortunately. This is all not great. Because <sighs> eternal bombs are good, but like we're not going to have enough bombs to make use of it. I guess we just take Jesus juice and be kind of slightly upset. <laughs> not great. One off buying two items here, which is slightly annoying. We'll buy Divorce Papers, because it's HP plus tears, and we'll just go down to the next floor. I should really take the Trinket, to be honest. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? So many bombs required. See, we could have taken our ten of bombs and got a bunch of stuff out of those, maybe. Might have been a better player. In here, good old full HP. Don't mind that at all. HP's looking very tasty. Um, we do have George, which unfortunately I don't think George does really anything for us uh, right now, but 4.5 Volt is one of the best items we possibly could have gotten, because it means we can use our active over and over again in the actual boss fight. So, Although it's going to be worse for, for waves, it's going to be so much better for the boss. You want to get off me, good sir. Ow. I knew the rockets had hit me eventually, I told you. It was coming. Sister Viz. Sister Viz. Good old Sister Viz. Mm. 
Vai. Very easy boss fights there. And what you got for us? Oh my god. Very, very easy. Another angel deal? Yeah, baby. Angels all the way. Job's family, why not? Don't really know Job's family's equality for. It's good, but it's not like that good. Mulligan's uh, going crazy with that fire rate as well, look. Mulligan giving us a ton and ton of flies. Alright, 4.5 volt, obviously. By the key as well. Phantom pains from Voodoo Pin. We don't have anything that's on damage effects. So I don't think that'll do anything for us. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave this floor. I will bomb once just to see what we get. Yeah, nothing really that's necessary to take. Down we go. 4.5 volt. Mwah. Chef's kiss. We're able to use our active so much. And obviously Job's family is going to duplicate as well, which is going to get probably weird and wacky too. Unfortunately, we are blind. Ah, you fuck it. Okay, that didn't actually do what I thought it was going to do. That normally transforms your red hearts into soul hearts. I was a bit annoyed about that, but it didn't do it. it didn't do the thing I thought it was going to do, so it's fine. Probably should have got Seraphim rather than Job's Family for the Herming, but Job's Family is good too. And with just it being quality 4 makes me want it more, even though I know it's not a, a very quality 4 type item, really. That's a lot of gapers. Right, we won't use it anymore. Boss time. Whatever it may be. Easy. And then we got three frails. No, two frails. And you. Pop up, your fool. And last potential angel deal slash devil deal, which it's always a devil deal on the last floor for some reason, so you watch it be a devil deal again. Amazing run. Oh, it was an angel deal, wow. And we get mystery item. Pride pin, that's actually pretty amazing to get right at the end there. And last item to buy. Will it ruin our run? Let's see. Let us see. Nah, just a speed up and can't be hurt by stomping attacks, which doesn't really affect us that much. Anyways, down we go. And we are very set for this boss fight. I mean, extremely set for this boss fight. Like, even without the other stuff we got going on right now. We got our little fire flowers going. We got Cambion Conception paying off there, apparently. Nice. Oh, this room's gonna get fucking wild. It's gonna get laggy in here, boys. Get ready. Four brimstone beams. We should be killing him faster than we are, realistically, I think. But apparently his boss armor is too strong for even the power that we hold. I love all the brimstone bars charging up. <laughs> the tank boys are kind of useless though, to be fair. They're, they're doing an okay job, but you'd think they'd seek out to do damage a little more than they currently are. They seem to just, like, drive away from us and join the herd. <laughs> we probably don't want to use the active anymore after this. Like, this is the last time, I think. Because I think, I think we're actually going to be outweighing the damage we deal with the lag we're producing. Like, I think the speed at which we kill him is actually going to go down the more we use it. I think this is probably enough. 
Right, there you go. Just because, yeah, the, the extra lag it's producing is just causing more and more lag and more and more slowdown. So even though we're killing him faster, the game is running slower. Well, look at look how long that animation took to play. Just, just. Pride been staying on the same thing for a while here. I don't know why. There you go. Stayed on the same uh, explosive one for a long time there. This shouldn't be too hard at all though. God, I I would love to like see what the what modded runs like this do look like without lag. It'd be it'd be so satisfying to play, but I don't think we'll ever see the day. Even even Repentagon can't do anything about this. It's too big a challenge. Too large a hurdle. People have, by the way, asked multiple times, like, oh, the game's too laggy sometimes, you need to play with less mods. I'm sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. Like, I, I enjoy the mods that I play with. I will keep adding new mods as they come out. I, I will tweak my mod list on occasion to provide, like, to, to just remove things we don't need. But my mod list is pretty succinct right now. I have, like, pretty much all the mods I want to keep on. Um, there's not many that I'm going to end up removing, so the lag is just part of it, unfortunately. And it doesn't happen every run. It's not, like, that bad all the time. It's just on occasion. Or with specific characters sometimes. But anyways, there you go. A nice, shrimply easy run with the insane tank posse. Um, <laughs> and we unlock Dark Baby and Duality. Thank you very much. There you go. Lovely little win. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.